Hi guys, so I've just received another order of art supplies, so this time I've ordered them from Ken Bromley. So that is a company in um, England again, so I don't know if they supply worldwide or Europe as well, but I just thought I'd try them out as well. So I'm really excited to see what we've got in the box this time, and let's get into it. So we've got a Ken Bromley Art Supplies catalogue here. Have a little flick through that later. some of those. Paper, brushes. So they do all sorts of art supplies. We've got pencils, charcoal, coloured pencils, pastels. Cool, I'll have a look through that later. Always good to have a little catalogue. Let's have a look. What is in here? So I don't just order stuff all the time, um, but some of you uh, might not know that I run art classes um, online at the moment. So I do get through a lot of um, supplies, so watercolour paper at the moment I'm getting through um, teaching these art classes. So here's an example of what we did last week in my watercolour class online. Um, Nice little hummingbird. So I do a practice one and I record a video and I also do the one live in class as well. So each week I'm getting through at least two bits of watercolour paper. Um, and that's why I need to keep topping, topping up my art supplies. Um, by the way, if you'd like to know more about my art classes, um, I'll pop the link in the description. So let's have a look what we've got. So I bought a, so this was really cheap. It's a battery pen, um, a battery operated eraser pen. So I didn't really get, didn't really get the point in these before. Um, but someone in one of my drawing classes that I was teaching, actually showed me how good it was. So if you want a really bright and precise um, highlight on something, for example, you can use this rubber um, to rub out an area and it'll just do it really quickly if you just hold it still and give you that really nice precise shine on something. And this was um, really cheap actually on this website. Um, it'd been sort of on my list of things to get for a while. Um, so I saw it, let's have a look. £2.75. So I, when I saw it for that price, um, yeah, I just thought I'd pick one up and see how it goes because I'm running my drawing class in April, my next one online. So I might show everyone how it works then. 
Um, yep, so that just takes batteries and it's got a few refill eraser ends as well, so that would be good to try out. I got another putty rubber, so a medium kneaded putty rubber by Windsor & Newton. Nice clean one because my one is so at the end of its life, it's so covered in stuff and I think possibly it's been heated up a few times from going on holiday and things and it's just, it's not at, at its best anymore. Um, so yeah, another essential tool for drawing. So that was two pounds, nine pence. Um, I seem to have had a bit of a thing on erasers this time. So I bought some pencil erasers. I didn't realise it was going to be two in a pack actually, so that's quite good. These were a little bit expensive, but again I've seen how they work and I used to have one when I was younger. Um, so good for um, just fine details with your rubber there. And you can use the end, it's got the brush, so you can just sweep the rubbings away um, so you don't um, smudge your work. So how much was that? That was pencil eraser £7.65. So a little bit expensive um, for what it is, but there's two of them. Um, and there should be hopefully a good good tool to get very precise erasing. So you can see on this picture for example they've got this hand and you know you can use a rubber to draw with um, essentially by just lifting out these little highlights, these little details, so creases and things um, with your rubber. So I got a drawing pad as well, so in preparation for that drawing class. So I wanted to try and find a bit of a smoother pen, uh, paper. The cheap one that I got recently was too smooth and the pencil didn't rub out enough. It kind of just sort of moved it around on the paper. It was a bit of a strange um, surface and I don't like my paper to be too rough, too textured. I like it fairly smooth. Um, so my other, my other drawing pad that I had, um, an Arteza one, uh, or Arteza, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, was a little bit too textured for my uh, my liking, but that's you know my personal preference. Um, so that feels quite a bit smoother actually. So it'd be interesting to try that out and see how that works. Um, so this was a Windsor and Newton drawing and sketching paper, but it specifically said smooth surface cartridge pad. So it's um, you know relatively thick, 150 GSM for a, a sketch pad. So you're you're sort of standard um, printer paper would be about 80 GSM. So it's not going to be, you can't really see my fingers through that. Um, fairly good quality. Um, so that's good and it's a flip ring um, binder pad as well. So it means I can completely, you know, um, fold over the pages and get to a new page and not have to deal with the sort of folded bits and yeah. Um, ah, this is what I really needed. So another pad of the Langton Prestige De La Rani watercolour pad. So this is not cold pressed, so it's got a fine grain. So this is what this is what I'm using in my watercolour classes because it is a block and it's pretty good quality. Um, it's 100 percent cotton. So I do have Arches, which is a French brand um, watercolour paper, but it's a bit more expensive, a bit more higher quality, and I like to use that for my uh, more of my commissioned artwork and my, my own artwork, um, rather than using that up for my classes. And this is pretty good paper anyway. Um, so I've got the 14 by 10 inch pad, so that is just a little bit bigger than A4. So yeah, it's a block, so it's glued around four sides, which means I don't have to worry about it warping too much. So I paint it directly on the pad. It's got this area that is not glued, so you can put a 
um, palette knife there to separate your sheets after they've dried. So that is for my um, watercolour classes that are coming up. So 12 sheets on that. So, ah, yes. So you can see you can see what kind of classes I've got coming up by the things that I'm buying. So um, let me just give you some prices on those things. So the sketch pad was five pound forty-seven. The watercolor paper pad um, block was nineteen pounds ninety-six. So a little bit expensive um, for twelve sheets there. But you know you can pay as much as you want to pay really for paper. It, it goes from from quite cheap to really expensive so right. so in here was one two three four five pencils so what did I get I got some Conte so that's a French brand uh, pencils and somehow I've managed to lose my um, H pencils. I don't know where. They'll be somewhere around. Um, but I use them a lot in my sketching and obviously I'm preparing for this drawing class coming up so I need some H pencils. Um, I like to try and stick to one brand so at the moment I've got Faber-Castell, that the green drawing pencils. Um, but I just wanted to try out um, these ones and see what they were like. So I've got an H, a 2H, a 6B and a 2B. So yeah, I wanted to just try out a high B pencil, so a 6B pencil, just to see how it compares to my Faber-Castell uh, higher B pencils. So that's them, they've come with a nice point on them, they look nice. So looking forward to using those. So they were, let's have a look, £1.40 each for each of those pencils. So the last thing that I got was a Derwent Water Soluble Graphitone 2B pencil. This was £1.88, so a little bit more. And if I remember correctly, the whole... Um, pencil is actually made of graphite so the dark bits here you can see um, and it's just got this um, wrapper the silver wrapper here that you can peel off um, when you get nearer that area and it's actually water soluble as well so I was interested to try this out um, to use in my watercolors potentially or maybe doing some um, graphite drawings but adding a little bit of water in there just to have a bit of a play around with that and this is a 2B so light wash on it so it's water soluble as I say so looking forward to trying that out and seeing what different effects I can um, get with that as well so potentially it means that I can do my sketch for my watercolours and it can blend in when I add water and not be as visible or it might add to my pictures you know I can use the um, the tone of the pencil to affect in my pictures as well I'll see have a bit of a, an experiment with that one so yeah that was a little bit more expensive £1.88 as opposed to £1.40 for the normal pencils and that is my little haul from Ken Bromley Art Supplies. So that came pretty quickly. I think after ordering, it took sort of maybe four days to arrive. So they take a couple of days to process the order and then um, two or three days, I think, to, to post it out. So um, that was pretty good. So I'm gonna be getting to um, use this watercolour pad pretty soon. I'll need to use that because my other one's running out. And then I'll be using my drawing stuff in my drawing class in April. So 
looking forward to trying all these things out. So again, hope you liked this video everyone and if you've tried these things out before or if you've never seen them before, um, let me know, you know, if there's anything else, any other art supplies that you'd recommend, let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!